Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add a slicer in Google Sheets. If you don't know what a slicer is, it allows you to select what you want to display in a data set. So let's go ahead and jump right in and show you how to add one. So go to data and add a slicer. Then we just need to select the data. Um, often Google suggest data. If it gets the right one, you can just click on it or you can just put in here the data range that needs to be. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this. And then the other thing we need to do is choose the column. And so in this case, we're going to use skew like we did originally. And then we can go ahead and drag this up. And then let me just show you again how we can use this. So whatever is checked is what's going to show up just like that. And then another thing that I'll show you is you can do a condition. And so for example, um, if you look at what we have here, we have um, two that have jump, one is jump kick, one is just jump. So we could do a condition where we says text contains jump. And so what you can see is because these both contain jump, it's doing both. And so that might be a better way to do it if, for example, you have a bunch of values um, but don't want to have to select each one individually. And then when you're ready to, to go, um, you can just reset it like that. To create uh, multiple slicers, fast way to do that is just copy and paste. So you can do Control C, Control V, or Command C and Command V on a Mac. Uh, the other place you can do that is Edit um, and do that copy. Um, and you can do even paste here like that. And then you just obviously want to reset that column. And so just Edit. And then maybe we can do total sale. And then what I'll show you real quick here is you can use that condition again and say, for for example, greater than 50 and see those sales greater than 50. We can flop that around and do less than just like that. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope that helped um, you guys to be able to start using slicers in your own project. Um, if this helped you, please like and subscribe and then check out our other videos for more tutorials on Google Sheets and Google Apps Script.